Our most recent scuba diving trip was to this rock, known as Big Scare. It is one of many dive sites in an area known as Bad Islands. It's a two-hour boat ride from Playa del Coco on the Pacific side of Costa Rica. Steve and I came here to see the large resident bull sharks, and we did see them quite a bit. But it was the insane amount of moray eels and octopus that we fell in love with. Just to be clear, we're not hurting this octopus. Steve was only using his hand as a barrier to keep him in frame and trying to interact with him. There really were just uh, an absolutely insane amount of moray eels everywhere. You know, obviously we have the spotted moray eel here and you'll see some green moray eel uh, as well. They're all very large. But, you know, in all the diving I've done over the last 15 years, typically the eels are hidden in crevices or, you know, under reefs and maybe see their head or just a little bit of their body. Here, they're just out free swimming everywhere. You know, everywhere I looked, there was one, and when I'm following one, all of a sudden, you know, without, you know, I'm sitting here zoomed in on this one, and then all of a sudden there's another one right here. And uh, I get real close with the camera on this one, and you'll see he actually bites the camera, which... The shot didn't turn out like I was hoping it would. Uh, I couldn't wait to see the video footage of this when I got home. But it's still pretty cool. And then there's a third one as well. So, I mean, they literally were just everywhere. And don't forget about the bull sharks swimming by, too. Definitely take <laughs> Or we've had a couple cocktails. Oh my god! You're like piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got money since Heather can't finish this. We did not get the feeling that our dive boat had ever seen people bringing fresh bait down with them to see the bull sharks before. But we were diving with Lee Cobb from Shark Diver Travels. We met Lee on a trip to Tiger Beach many years ago and also went with her to see the great white sharks at Guadalupe Island. Lee is a paddy instructor, an experienced shark feeder, and just all around great friend. Truthfully, the octopus may be our favorite animal to play with in the ocean. Here, they are literally everywhere. And the only thing about playing with them is that you have to keep your head up to keep an eye out for the massive bull sharks that like to hang out just at the limit of your visibility. I suck air! It's my new license plate. I suck air. <laughs> <laughs> they have to start solo diving. If she gets any more skin bends, her head's gonna explode. <laughs> We're taking bloody bait down to bull sharks. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Biggest bull sharks I've ever seen. No big deal. They're going to the bull sharks. We can play with octopus. No, you should be watching for the bull sharks.
Uh, here you see some bull sharks coming in. Uh, this is about as close as they really did come to us. Um, I have a feeling that the bull sharks here at Bat Island did not like the lights that were on my camera. Uh, you know, just two big cracking torches that were on. And uh, I would try to keep my lights pointed at the sand and down as much as possible to bring the sharks in. But they really just didn't like the lights. So a lot of time we ended up just playing with the eels and the octopus, which quite frankly were a lot more fun anyway. So Steve and I want to share something that happened on this dive trip with me in hopes that it helps somebody catch it before they really get hurt. The average depth for us here was here about 75 feet. I have about 50 dives now personally, but most of them have been relatively shallow, especially at Tiger Beach at only about 40 feet. In my short time of diving before this trip, I got skin bends twice. Skin bends is a rash that occurs most commonly on the torso that appears after diving. It's, hap it's what happens when nitrogen is trapped in the body. It's painful, but it is self-limiting and went away within a few hours. I always joke, nothing a couple cocktails can't cure. However, this trip, I didn't just get skin bends, I ended up with neurological bends, a serious form of decompression sickness. I had a whole heap of symptoms, all over body pain, a massive headache, and vision problems. When I got home, I got myself a dive examination at University of Maryland Hyperbaric Center. And after a full checkup, the doctors referred me to a cardiologist. After a test called an echocardiogram with bubbles, it was found that I have an arterial septal defect, a PFO, meaning I have a small hole in my heart. And it makes diving more problematic for me. Diving with the PFO makes the diver more likely to experience an arterial gas embolism and therefore more likely to experience getting the bends, decompression sickness. I highly recommend a dive examination if you have ever experienced any decompression sickness symptoms after diving. Knowing is always better than not knowing when it comes to diving. So this was another first for me. Uh, again, I had never seen nor heard of brittle starfish before, but uh, I turned over a rock and I saw a couple, and obviously I wanted to film it. Um, I didn't know if they were starfish or some sort of octopus, but uh, I came home after the trip and looked it up, and these are brittle starfish. Just as a friendly reminder real quick, if I can, there are large bull sharks here uh, and they're swimming around us the entire time we're down there. And when we kind of leave the dive and go out into the open ocean, the very last thing that you want to see from your girlfriend during a safety stop in open water is this reaction. Turns out it was you know, kind of cool. We were just being graced by a very large manta ray swimming around and it wasn't the worst case scenario. But I'll never forget looking over at her while we're doing our safety stop, swimming out in the deep blue and seeing that reaction and assuming the worst right away.
Everybody say hello. So this was cool. Uh, this was my first sea snake that I've ever seen in the ocean before. And I honestly didn't know what it was when I was looking at it. Uh, Lee was just to my left as I was filming this and she was pointing it out. And I realized it was something cool and I think after a couple of minutes I realized it was a sea snake. But uh, I'd never seen a sea snake in the open ocean before and that was kind of my first. It should be taught in your open water certification because it is a wonderful skill to know how to do, but it takes a quite a bit of effort to learn. 